Hey there everyone, today I have an interesting video for you where we will use Builder.io to convert the Figma design into code and yes, our design will be responsive too. If you are ready to convert your design to code, let's get into it. Here, I already have the design that I selected for this video and if you want to use the same design then I will leave the link for it in the description box, okay? So let's get going. Before we start with the conversion, let's first look at how Builder.io directly provides responsiveness to this design. So what we have to do is select this layer just like this and then you can press Ctrl plus forward slash on your keyboard to bring this search bar. So here we will search for Builder.io. And if by any chance you don't get this over here, what you can do is you can go into this Figma menu and then in plugins option, you can select manage plugins and here you can search for builder.io. Okay. And then select this and it will bring us this new tab over here as our layer is already selected. So it's set to generate the code. So let's click on this button. So now it is generating our code. So let's wait for a moment. And there we have our code. So let's click on view code button and then it will take us to the builder.io website. And there we have our code ready. And if you look at how builder.io provided the responsiveness to our design, there are some mistakes like this navigation bar. And then here we don't have the image. Okay, you will see we don't have the image and then we have this button which doesn't really look good okay so these are some of the mistakes which ai has done okay so we have to improve this so let's start doing it what we will do is we will head back to our figma file over here and then select the layer copy this layer by clicking on ctrl plus c or you can just right click on your mouse and copy from here and then let's minimize this for now and let's move ahead and down here let's paste that design just like this okay let's move it more down here we should not make changes to a main file okay never and one more thing that i want to tell you is that when we decrease the screen size you will notice the text overflow and it doesn't look good so what we can do is we can provide auto layout for each of these elements present on our web page and even we are going to group them together so they can have a proper auto layout okay providing auto layout and grouping the elements together will help ai better to improve the responsiveness so we will start by working on this navigation section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this technologies and how to section and even this contact us button after deleting them then select this service layer and also this about layer and then let's move it over here so that it can look better and there perfect and now we start by grouping the elements together and then providing auto layout to them what we will do is we will select this logo and press shift and select this hydra layer or you can even select it from this layer now these both are selected let's group them together to group them what you can do is right click on your mouse and then here you have this group selection and its shortcut is ctrl plus g so i'm going to use ctrl plus g from now okay so let's group them now they are grouped all together here you will see this this one frame and this second frame are grouped together and then let's provide them the auto layout to provide them auto layout we have a shortcut key which is shift plus a so let's click on this and from now on i will use shift plus a for auto layout because it's easy okay so now these both are grouped together and they also have an auto layout now let's move on to here about and service section Let's group them together by clicking on Ctrl plus G and then providing them the auto layout by pressing Shift plus A. So we have provided auto layout to this section also and we also have grouped them together. Now one thing I want to tell you is that when we try to add something to this button, it does not resize or if you want to reduce something, it really does not resize. 
so what we can do to resize the button according to the content inside it is by selecting this join hydra layer or text over here you will see and then we will select the button just like this we will group them together by clicking on ctrl plus g and then we will provide them the auto layout by clicking on shift plus a so now they are also grouped and have auto layout and now when we try to add something you will see the button resize and if you remove something from it the button also resizes okay so let's just keep it how it was before we move further by grouping all of the elements present in the navigation bar one thing i want you to know is the concept of box model which is really very important for the responsive design so this is the diagram that i have prepared so that we can better understand the concept of box model as you will see here that this is our main page okay inside which we have two main boxes which is one navigation box and another one being the main content of the page with this orange outline and inside this navigation we have this one logo over here which is one specific block and we also have some special links and these all the links are kept inside this black box and then we have another box in the navigation that is the button so all together this logo this navigation links and this button is contained inside one big box inside this orange box orange outline box we have this one green box and we have another box which is for the footer inside this main content box we have two big boxes this one with the yellow background and this one with the blue background which contains the images okay so basically this is the image which i prepared to tell you that all of the content on our web page is considered to be a block or a box and similarly these small boxes are contained inside one big box just like this correct so this is the concept of box model and if you want to learn about the box model concept properly what i will suggest is you should read this documentation which is present on builder.io and i will leave the link for this in the description so you don't need to worry okay learn about it and then plan your layout accordingly just like this so yeah let's head back to our design so we should now group all of these elements which are present in our navigation to be a one group so let's select this section okay just like this and select this button and then let's group them together ctrl plus g and then provide them the auto layout shift and a and if you notice when we provide the auto layout they shift according to this button so now that we have grouped them together let's group this section together also so let's group them ctrl plus g and provide them the auto layout now we have to work with this blue box section so let's first see this this is one frame okay if you see over here and this is another frame select this layer and then press shift on your keyboard and select this then click on ctrl plus g okay now they are grouped as you will see here then let's provide them the auto layout and now we have the auto layout for them let's have auto layout for this section also because this is one independent block so let's give this an auto layout by pressing shift plus a and then this will also be one box okay now similar to what we did for this join hydra button we will do for this build your world button we will select this text and then this button now they both are selected group them together provide them the auto layout and now when we try to add something or remove something the box resizes isn't it perfect okay and also let's provide this an auto layout because this is one another block let's provide this the auto layout and then select this and this to be together because they are going to be in one line so first group them together and then provide them the auto layout shift in a so auto layout has been added now let's group all of these together select this layer select this and also this now this is one full big box group them together by doing ctrl plus g okay now they are grouped over here 
and then provide them the auto layout and if you saw they shifted accordingly okay and now let's provide auto layout for this image also if you notice that we did not got an image in the builder.io website okay over here what best we can do that is we can provide an image accordingly from here even if this image does not appear we should provide the layout for this rectangles we will select this layer which is providing the radius to the image and then we have another rectangle which is the back one this one okay if i separate it out this one is the layer i am talking about okay so let's select this layer and also this layer and then group them together now you will see that image overflows what we can do best is we will just delete this image as of now and then what we group together this two rectangles we will provide them the auto layout by clicking on shift and a so now they are grouped together and we will delete this image for now okay now let's group all of these together because this is one big box on our web page so select this layer and then select this layer let's group them together Control plus G and then provide them the auto layout these texts are aligned accordingly for this we will have to provide them the auto layout for each and every text okay so let's start doing this first we will provide them the auto layout then we will group them together so let's provide this an auto layout provide this an auto layout even this an auto layout if you see it aligns accordingly to all of its content present over here then let's provide this an auto layout this an auto layout and also auto layout to this same thing we will do for this and now we have auto layout for each of these frames now let's group them together just like this control plus g and then shift in a but one thing if you notice that this gets down we don't want this so let's first group these two text together control plus g now select this layer also and then group them together and then providing auto layout for this one full block okay same thing for this let's group these text together and then select this and provide them the auto layout similarly for this and this group them together select this provide them the auto layout now that is done this is one full box isn't it right so let's provide first of all this rectangle and auto layout so that it can resize accordingly let's group this this and this together and then provide them the auto layout now let's group all of these together because this is one full group we have done that let's give them the auto layout okay so that's perfect and now that we are done with this section over here one thing that is remaining is that this is a shape and it has some layers so to have this aligned properly in our code what we can do best is we can flatten this shape right click on your mouse and here you will select flatten so that the unnecessary layers will get removed okay and it won't affect our design that much when we generate our code so now that we are done with this section you can do same thing for this also you can have auto layout for these headings you can flatten this arrow give auto layout to this and then group this section together so you can just go ahead and follow the instructions for each of these sections you just have to auto layout and group them together one by one so now that we are done with this part, let's generate the code and look at how builder.io gave us the responsiveness for this design. So let's call builder.io. It will bring this new pop-up and it is asking us to select layer to export the code. So we will select this layer, click on the button generate code. And now that is ready, let's click on view code. And here we have the code for React. If you want to change it to view, Svelte, React Native, Angular, or whatever you want, you can do it from here. And for styling, you have different options. And let's just look how it will look at the desktop. So this is how it is going to look. And of course, we didn't got the image. So we are going to bring it. 
how we can do that is select this layer and then here fill the image click on this and here i have this photo so i'm going to select it and it gave us this photo over here perfect and if you see over here the heading is not proper let's see in the design what the heading is it is dive into the depth so let's just write it over here double click on it and let's write it over here dive into the depths perfect and there we have this button which does not look good okay so let's select this box I have the width for it to be shrink what this will do is it will shrink horizontally so that the content can fix and then we will align it to the left side so for on the desktop screen everything is perfect okay then let's go to the tablet devices we want this heading and paragraph and this button to be center so what we can do is here you can go in layouts and in align you will do it center horizontally so it will center them and then let's do the same for this image also let's center it horizontally and that's perfect isn't it on mobile screen devices we should not have navigation bar like this so what we can do is we can hide its visibility then we will have the hamburger menu over here you could do it in your code there are so many things over here that you could do anything according to your needs you can change your layout change the visibility you can have the background for this full web page you can change the typography change the font size line height margin and padding then you have border if you want to do it so just try it okay the only two things that we have to basically do so that the builder.io ai knows what the responsiveness is is providing auto layout and grouping the elements together so that they can be aligned properly and that's how we use builder.io to convert a design into code and that wraps this video i hope this video helps you convert your design into code in a matter of time also, if you have any doubts, feel free to drop a comment below or you can even join my Discord server. The link for it will be given in the description box. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.